I had read some uh, studies about communities that were successful. Um, not just little towns, uh, but even parts of cities. And um, it seemed to me that, that sense of place means that you're from somewhere. My children who don't live in Edgewater anymore are from Edgewater. They, they have that identity. And um, the more you know about your community, um, the more interesting it is to you. So um, just knowing where the L stops are and uh, which grocery store is where isn't quite it. It's a little bit more about um, who came here, who uh, lived here, the things they created. Uh, so there are all kinds of fun things that people do together and it does give them a sense of a shared history. I believed it was going to be easy to do. And the reason I believe that is that everybody that I talk to is always telling me about their house and the history of their house, or did you know that there used to be uh, Hollywood Avenue wasn't open over to Ridge? Uh, did you know? And I would say, oh, no, I didn't know that. And I would keep trying to remem memorize little facts like that. So um, people came up to us at the second meeting, now that they knew there was a historical society, they came up with stuff that they just wanted to hand us. Here, I've been saving this. I knew somebody would be interested in this. And so I think that was kind of evidence that there was a strong community interest in history. You know, don't take your history out to the alley from your attic. We, we want to collect it and save the it. The Edgewater Historical Irish. Society uh, became, to, as an idea, uh, developed from the work of the Oral History Committee of the Edgewater Community Council. And after interviewing so many people in the community, and uh, we produced a video uh, based on the, their recollections, um, I offered that probably we should form a historical society. Because it really does take one person to stand up and say, OK, I'm going to set this up and follow it up. We yeah. set about finding other people might be interested in this. Have a public meeting at the library and um, ask people to come and send out invitations, flyers, wherever you could send them and uh, get people to come and discuss it. So we set about uh, doing all those steps and we had a pretty large crowd. The auditorium at our library was pretty filled and um, we had planned this. Somebody stood up and said, well, I propose that we create a historical society as a not-for-profit organization. And somebody seconded, and then we just took a vote, all in favor, and they all yelled, aye. And so then our work was set out for us. Um, I would say the grand opening of the museum was really fun. It was a fun day. Uh, having the ribbon cutting and having all the people here and a celebration of a lot of work uh, that went into that and seeing the beautiful museum that was, you know, hardly when we started did we dream how lovely it would be. So